Hello, Pisces singles. <clears throat> I am Phoenix Rising. <clears throat> if you're hearing my voice, you're watching my channel. Um, it's top of the morning. It's like I'm a little bonded on. Don't pay me no attention. <laughs> um, I am here to do a love read for single Pisces. So you must be single. You must be a Pisces for this to resonate. Um, if you're not a Pisces, it must be like in your North Node, your Venus house, one of those. You know. Okay, so um. If you're new, you can click like, subscribe, you can share me. And then if you're returning single Pisces, thanks for supporting my channel. Um, this read is the full moon, the blood on the moon tonight reading um, for single Pisces. Um, I've been hearing my mat, my head for two days to do a reading for you guys. Excuse my voice. <clears throat> to do a reading for you guys. And I just <clears throat> was so busy. I hadn't had time. So, but excuse my voice. Okay. So. Um, for a personal read or to cash out me a donation, it's in the description box on my page, guys. So let's get into it. Spirit, give me messages for Pisces single. Let us use cards for Pisces single spirit. Pisces single. Spirits. Ancestors. Angels. Mike Archangel. Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel. Please give me messages for my single Pisces. This is my new situation deck. So this is like with one, two, three on the clock. I think I'll get some good messages with this cards. I'm going to do eight cards from that deck and two card clarifications. Pisces single spirit. Pisces single. Pisces single angels. Spirit guys, higher power. Higher power source, please uh, bless this reading. Give me messages for my Pisces that will help them and enlighten their life. In the higher power's name we pray, amen. <clears throat> All right. It's a shuffle on. Single Pisces. Messages to single Pisces. Pisces. Single Pisces. For the collective that watch me, for the collective that will watch me, and for cross watchers. Okay, here we go. With 222, I'm starting at the perfect time. They said interview, talk, conversation, getting on the same page. <clears throat> I'm going to get a clarifying for that. Someone wants to talk to you. It could be somebody from the past or the present, but someone wants to have a conversation with you. <laughs> Pop up. Okay. Spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit. Someone's coming towards you. They want to talk and come towards you. This could be a twin flame or soulmate with uh, synchronicities. One, 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 two, 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 and three, three, three. Fourth card out. Drastic, extreme, harsh cutoff. Okay, let's get into this. Now, I'm going to pull four more cards from this deck, but I'm going to get clarification for these first, okay? All right, Spirit. All right. <clears throat> Give me one more card while interview is here. Talk, conversation, interview. Who do they want to talk to my single Pisces about? Who wants to talk to my single Pisces? Okay, so whoever this is with the nine of swords in reverse, yeah, they... Could have had you involved in some type of third party. It could have been a third party involved. Um, you got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, which is you. But you also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. The Nine of Swords in reverse um, is always about mental clarity. And this person doesn't have any. Um, either for you or for them. This is, well, for them, I'm really picking up. They're trying to recover and learn to cope with things. Someone's not sleeping well at night. This is nightmares, breakdown. Someone has some self-pity and self-shame. Uh, Okay, about how they did you, and they want to talk about that. The Three of Cups, like I said, is an energy of a, a third party. Um, it could have been multiple women or men that this person had around, and they might want to talk to you about that. Um, what's I going to say? Yeah. Also, it's like um, they also want to come in and re, re, reunite with the Three of Cups. Have a conversation about, uh, like, want to take you out. The Three of Cups is also like a celebration feeling, I'm feeling. Maybe you want to spend money on you, okay? This is pop-up spontaneous. Why is pop-up spontaneous here for single Pisces spirit? Pop-up spontaneous. Okay, let's see. Ooh, six of Pentacles. With four, four, four on the clock, I think they want to come and come in with a gift or something. They want to come with something. It could be flowers, candy. It could be anything. You got two sixes. Yeah, so this is definitely um, trying to be normal. And blend with the community. 
the six of swords is trying to come in triumph like uh pisces cancer scorpio energy okay so like i said they want to come in and maybe uh, i want to say restate their restate their position in your life and spirit had just told me with the six and the nine is i mean the six and the three is nine so it's like they felt like almost complete with you you were their wish fulfillment um yeah, and like I said, what they want to pop up with a gift. They want to they want to gift you. Okay, with five, two, seven on the clock. <clears throat> this is Virgo towards Capricorn. They want to come in and show you something, give you something. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, because I think it was a they had there was a Queen of Pentacles. Um, there was a, a, another woman. The Queen of Pentacles is a vicious, wicked bitch. Okay, sociopath, cheater, liar. This is someone that could have been practicing dark magic on your person. This is jealous, possession, and prostitution. They could have been selling kimchi or dick. Okay, I, I got to tell y'all, I got a potty mouth. You know, if you're first time watching. Um, okay, the Six of Wands is the energy of you could have been dealing with a Virgo, Taurus. I mean, Leave, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. <clears throat> um, yeah, they want victory with you recognition okay they want to um yeah they want a victory they, they're coming in with gifts and they want a victorious ending with you they want to pop up on you <clears throat> you got synchronicities spirit why synchronicities here i will take you this one. oh <clears throat> i feel like this person is ignoring the signs the page of wands is Someone that did, that's not learning something, resistance to something. Um, it's in reverse. This is uh, a person that could be immature. They could either be younger than you or just immature. This is um, uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries energy with the page of wands. Okay, with the synchronicities, it gives me a feel of huh, they lack confidence and if someone's closed-minded, they get synchronicities to be with you or they, that they should be in a union with you or talk to you but they procrastinate and they fail to act on it so they get these synchronicities okay but they don't act on them with the page of wands they get these messages they get these downloads they get these signs but they act like they don't see the shit <laughs> that's what that means the tower in reverse the tower in reverse is scorpio leo sagittarius aries energy like i said it's a lot of fire in this um <clears throat> reading you could be dealing with a fire sign but in, like I said, the tower is Scorpio energy as well. So that could have been a tower moment for this person. I feel the tower in reverse. Um, with synchronicities. That would be, yeah, resistance. Again, disaster. Avoiding avoiding, um, and delaying the inevitable. Delaying, delaying this, this uh, union. Delaying what's to come. Being so stubborn. It's, Drastic, extreme, harsh. Why is drastic, extreme, harsh here for Pisces season? Uh -oh. <laughs> Hold on, Sphere. I heard um, Sphere say pride gets in their way. Drastic. Okay. Mm. It all fell out in reverse. Okay, so. With drastic, extreme, harsh cutoff. Yeah. This eight of cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. It is your energy. The eight is uh, of cups in reverse. is staying in a bad situation of feeling stuck. Okay. They might want to come in and tell you they was faking like they was happy with somebody. And they weren't. Okay. This is fear, uh, low self-esteem. Yeah, moving on. Or they could have uh, left you in a bad situation, I feel like. It could have had you upside down. It's the Queen of Cups. Okay? Had you feeling vengeful at some point in time when you wanted to do something. Um, they could have even said you was pushy about something. But now they want to come back drastically like the Knight of Wands. Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. Okay? You showing up as a Queen of Wands in reverse because he had you. this person had you in reverse. They had you fucked up. And with the... Uh, Knight of Wands upright. Like I said, this is a younger person or an immature person. This is Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. And the Knight of Wands is <clears throat> a hero. They want to come in and be open-minded. They want to sweep you off your feet. Because the hang one is here. And it's like they knew they left you hanging. Okay? And at that time, it, it was some uncertainties and you lacked direction. And they did too. Now, for others, there was a, a woman involved that they were dealing with, with the Queen of Wands in reverse. And she... 
did something to this Knight of Wands. They had him rushing towards you. We had this conversation. Two different messages. Okay. Okay. Now let's get four more cards. I'm at 10 minutes. Okay. Here we go. Four more cards, Spirit, for my single Pisces messages. Four more cards, Spirit. Ancestors, angels, please give me four more cards. For the collective that watch me, for the that will watch me. Okay? Out the deck. Realiza revelation. Wait. Realization. I'm sorry. It's in reverse. I usually don't take reverses from this deck. But I feel like I need to. So that was some unawareness. Okay? And they weren't seeking the light. Okay? I even feel like with the cups in reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they poured out your cup of love. That's why I said. They, they didn't realize what they had. That's the realization. That's why it's in reverse. Yeah, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Also, with this drastic card, Spirit told me to tell you, you could have been dealing with a uh, Cancer or a mm -mm, Sagittarius. With the pop-up card, you could have been dealing with an S sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, Spirit, give me three more cards. Oh, how the heck did I do that? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay, so you got journal, writing, diary, keeping notes. We're going to see why that's here, too. Mm, I don't know if that, need, that may not need to be reversed. We're going to see. Will of Fortune. They coming out in reverse, though, which is kind of weird. They usually don't. Okay, and you got in reverse. You got Will of Fortune in reverse, surviving in daily struggle, and you got unconditional love in reverse. So, I'm going to take them in reverse. This is what I'm Spirits go. I'm going with the flow this morning. Realization, unawareness, not seeking the light. It's in reverse. That's what that means. Up, upright means they're seeking the light. Why is it, uh, <clears throat> realization here in reverse? This king of this king of wands didn't, didn't realize what the fuck they had. That's why it's in reverse. Oh yeah, and they didn't realize how bad they hurt you with the queen. Y'all jump jump back out the deck again. Yep. Oh, and that's Spirit said the, real, the realization of that that Queen of Wands for some of them was a treacherous bitch. So this Knight of Wands want to come back to you. They could have been dealing with a fire sign. Could be an, another woman that's a fire sign. Why is Journal here in reverse? Journal. Oh, yeah, you got two fives. So this is definitely conflict. Fives represent chaos, crisis, um, competition. They could have had you in and instability to the situation. The five of wands and the five of swords. In reverse. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, energy. Okay. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy in reverse. The five of swords is having one to have a talk with you. Maybe they writing or they won't text you or reach out that way. This is moving, uh, uncertainties. Um, they could have been doing some illegal activities or could be facing some jail time. This is compromise, violence, and risking everything. The five of wands is definitely having you in conflict. Okay, they could have had you in competition with other people. Um, and something about them writing something. I don't know if they're going to text you or like they're texting you and erasing a text instead of sending it. Because that's what I'm picking up with this five. Like, they got a lot to say. I think some of them are writing down what they say because someone is not very well at communicating, I'm feeling. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and the five of wands, what was I going to say? Oh, okay, the five of wands, you know, I'm sure I can. It's compromise, ends conflict, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely, with this, these two fives, they want to end the conflict. With two fives, yeah. Mm -hmm. They want to end this shit. They tired of this. They want peace, They not, you know, they want peace because at one point they might have been looking for a fight. But now it's like, uh-uh. That's why you got the five of wands. Both of these cards mean ended, ending conflict. Waving a white flag, I just heard. Okay, now we got Will of Fortune in reverse. Why? Okay, and some of them dealing with a karmic. Because um, Will, no, Will of Fortune upright is soulmate. Okay, and in reverse, it's a karmic soulmate. And this could have been a bad luck with money. A bad. This is just bad luck with the Will of Fortune. Not surviving. The daily hustle, they, they're not, they don't have no money. But they want this fresh start. Okay? They want to move forward with the Ace of Wands. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy. The Ace of Wands is definitely coming in fast with a fresh new start. 
a new a new venture and something with dealing with good fortune. Oh yeah, because I feel like they ten of pentacles it failed. Like um, this is broken home, money collapse, money issues, broken foundation, Virgo towards Capricorn energy, money issues, rocky foundation. This is the motherfucker that's losing everything. Family feuds, getting into it with a family, illegal activity, and fighting over money, negative disputes. Yep, that's what this person is having some issues. You got unconditional love in reverse. So unconditional love in reverse is required love. Someone that you gave a lot to and they they took a lot, but they didn't give back. Genuine, certain, and love in reverse. Why unconditional love here in reverse? Four cups. Four cups is uh <clears throat> four cups is Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy. Okay, so I feel like unrequited love, like I said. They were taking more than they were giving. And with the four cups in re the four cups upright, excuse me, this is uh regretting it. Refusal to believe something, refusing to offer. Um, and not feeling remorseful. Focus on a negative pattern. You know, these are the things that's making the love unrequited and negative. There's some depression that goes along with this. And you see this part, like they could be coming back offering you that cup of love and look at your arms being folded. I don't know if I want it now. Because you feel like it's strength attached with the 10, okay? This is um, you rising above problems. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Okay, this is uh, haters pulling yourself together after this heartache. Because it's like your worst fears came true, okay? <clears throat> okay, single Pisces, this has been your love read. Click like, subscribe, share me. Come back and see me. I hope you guys enjoy. I am Phoenix Rising. And don't forget to uh, hit that like button, notification bell, all that good shit. And to get a personal read or cash out your donation, it's in the description box on my page. I thank you guys for watching. Till next time, bye-bye.